Hey everybody, it's P-Dubs. Thanks as always for hanging out upstairs with us and for checking out the channel. And on today's episode, I wanted to catch up with you regarding CoinOps X. That's right, CoinOps X on the At Games Legends Arcade family of products. I actually meant to make this video a couple of months ago. That's how far behind I am on some content. And I finally had a few minutes to record this news update for you. When it comes to CoinOps X or CoinOps X version 5.0, which is a community build that was built out there by the fans of Sauce, the chefs of Sauce, a community of gamers who uh, put together these wonderful little builds with games on them on your thumb drive that you can plug in and play on the At Games Legends Arcade family of products via the third party application CoinOps X. And with this particular application, at Games, in one of their recent firmware updates, I put out a video about three months ago saying, hey guys, if you're on firmware 5.64.0, which is the latest version of the firmware, some of your games are going to have issues. Some of the games on those builds uh, no longer, like for instance, the spinners wouldn't work, high score saving wouldn't work, a lot of games wouldn't load, a lot of games would crash, etc, etc, etc. So the best thing to do at that time three months ago my recommendation in my video was to roll back your firmwares to firmware 5.61.0 because on that firmware, the issues went away. Namely, at games denying root access in firmware 5.64 and things like that, which prevented a lot of these cores and uh, game files to run properly. So the good news, guys, is although I made that video three months ago, two months ago, uh, the folks... Uh, oh, the community developers from the fans of Sauce, Chefs of Sauce, whatever you want to call them, they released some fixes uh, to get around this problem. So, for instance, um, if you go to the usual places where you download these builds, now I can't share direct links to the downloads on my channel. I like to avoid uh, that completely because my videos are for educational purposes only. But if you go to the usual places that you find these builds, You'll notice about two months ago, they released a fix patch. Now, what you could do is you download the fixes, comes over as a zip file, you plug in your CoinOps X USB to your PC, open up the partition that has the CoinOps X build on your PC, and obviously unzip the files that you downloaded, drag and drop those files, and they'll copy and rewrite over the existing files that are on your thumb drive and the fixes are in and boom, you're done. Or the other option is, is they also released an entirely new build, an entire new build, uh, the full fixed version, and uh, have some screenshots here for you so you guys can kind of see what it looks like in the usual places. If you download the full build and then just follow my normal tutorial that a lot of you have followed that's on my channel on how to set up the CoinOps X 5.0, you just download the full build and reset up your thumb drive just like you did before and plug it into your machine. Now, keep in mind too, guys, I highly recommend that what you do is you turn around and you turn on your machine, go ahead and update to firmware 5.64, and with the new build or with the fix, the fix files put on, whichever way you go, they will run on firmware's 5.64 without an issue, so you can go ahead and update to the latest firmware and uh, my apologies correction i shouldn't say without an issue with all these public builds there's always things that other people discover and pop up depending on what games they're playing there might be some small issues here and there but nothing too crazy that i've heard myself to prevent me from uh playing these games i myself did this update and what i did is i downloaded the full build and just reset up everything from scratch but then again just doing the fix files is a faster way to get yourself up and running. So the good news is, is you can be confident enough to update your At Games Legends Arcade Family products to firmware 5.64.0 or higher and using the CoinOps X 5.0 build. And keep in mind, this is just for the CoinOps X 5.0 build. This, uh, this doesn't have to deal with the Whopper vertical build or other builds that are out there. So hopefully this quick news update, a lot of people still comment on my videos. They're like, hey, P-Dub, should I be rolling back my firmware? Um, I saw your old video three months ago. Should I still be rolling back my firmware? I figured I better get an update out there for people who follow this channel and let you know that you no longer need to roll back your firmware. 
You can go ahead and update your firmware and just download the fixes or the new builds from the usual places that you got them from and get yourself up and running on the latest firmwares. That's what I got for you today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick news update. If you did, do me a favor, leave me your comments, feedback, reactions below. Give us a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing. For sure though, That's for sure. from the grip, no shame, take a photo, take a photo. time to take a trip, we had north to the border, safe.